and when adding it all up, the total is... Hey, what's up? It's Victor and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going through my entire shoe collection as of 2022 and seeing how much each of my shoes cost. And at the end of the video, we'll be adding up the total amount of money I've spent to become the absolute drippiest dude in Texas. I have never actually added up the cost of all of my shoes before, so this will also be a surprise for me. So in order to keep this video organized, we'll be going through my entire shoe collection in four different categories. The four categories will be sneakers, sandals, loafers slash oxfords, and boots. On a side note, I won't be talking about shoes that I receive from sponsorships or gifts. I will only be talking about the shoes that I personally bought with my own money. So without further ado, let's get started. The first shoe in my collection are my Nike Air Force Ones. I bought these in early 2020 and I used to wear them a lot. But now that my style has changed, they mainly just sit on my shelf now. These are probably the most popular sneakers in the world and are very versatile and easy to wear. It's a really nice shoe that's very comfortable, but I just don't tend to gravitate towards them. If I ever had to wear these, I'd probably just wear them with some sweatpants to go pick up some groceries. Other than that, they just sit on my shelf. I bought these for around, I think, $100. So next up, we have my Nike Sakai LD Waffles. These shoes are probably my most worn shoes in my entire sneaker collection. I absolutely love them. You can tell I wear them a lot because of how beat up they look. They are very easy to wear because of the all white colorway. I bought these shoes in the summer of 2020, I believe, and it cost me around $230. I think they're going for around $500 now, which is pretty insane. And yeah, these are probably my go-to sneakers when I'm wearing shorts or a very casual outfit. I just love the detailing in the shoe. The ribbon laces, the double Nike logos, and the extended sole. Everything about the shoe is perfect, in my opinion. Up next, we have my New Balance 990 V5s, or as people call them, the ultimate dad shoe. I'd say these are like my beater shoes. I usually only wear this to the gym, but I wear them occasionally when I need it to match my outfit. I have to say though, these are extremely comfortable to wear. So if you need a pair of shoes to do everyday things in, these are it. I'm pretty sure everybody knows or has seen these shoes before. I remember seeing them all over TikTok. And because of that, I feel like these are too generic for me, so I don't really gravitate towards these. I bought these for around $190 last year, so they're fairly new. There's really not much to say about these. These are just very generic shoes that can be worn anywhere at any time. Up next are my ASIC Gel Prelius Awake New York shoes. I tend to gravitate towards these shoes when I'm wearing an all black outfit or need a pop of color to my outfit. Like the other shoes I mentioned previously, these are very comfortable to wear. I don't really wear these shoes as often because of how loud and bright they are. But when I do, my outfits are usually super fire. I bought these on StockX last year for around, I believe, $160. I just like how colorful they are and the green laces just make the shoes pop. Next sneaker in my collection are my JW Anderson Converse. I bought these shoes in late 2019 for around $120 during Black Friday. Funny story about these shoes, I actually only bought these shoes just because I saw Russell Westbrook wearing them once. Do I wear these shoes now? No. Do I regret buying these shoes? Yes. Anyways, on to the next. Up next we have my Black Canvas Angel sneakers. I bought these on sale from Essence last year for around $228. The original price for these shoes are around $300, so I actually got this for a really good deal. These are actually really cool shoes to wear, but I currently don't own any jeans baggy enough to style them. So again, they just sit on my shelf. Do I regret buying these? No, because I feel like when I do get a pair of pants that are baggy enough to sit around a shoe, that I'll be wearing them often. But as of now, I don't really wear them. The next shoe in my collection are my Nike Blazers. I bought these in 2020 for like 100 bucks. I honestly don't even wear them except for my TikTok videos, so... Next. These bad boys right here are my Nike Monarchs. I bought these way back in 2018 when chunky shoes were in style. Like the Balenciaga Triple S's and the Phila Disruptors. I used to pull up to school with these on and I remember getting clowns for wearing these. These shoes are actually extremely comfortable, so I get why a lot of dads wear these shoes. These are very versatile to wear since they're just mainly white, and they pair very nicely with baggy pants. I think I bought these for around $80 at Nike Outlet. I don't really wear these shoes now, but I keep them as a memento. And finally, the next and last pair of sneakers in my collection are... You know what these are. These are my Jordan 1 Mochas. These are probably my quote-unquote most hype shoe in my collection. Out of all the Jordan 1 colorways, this is probably my favorite, and I'm not being biased just because I own these. I think ever since lockdown in 2020, I've been moving away from sneakers because I just feel like it's not my style anymore. If I'm being completely honest, I think I've only worn this like once or twice out. Like don't get me wrong, I think Jordan 1s look amazing. It just doesn't match my outfits anymore. If you're watching this and you love Jordan 1s, then by all means, keep wearing them. I don't think his shoes will ever go out of style. I got these for around $230 from a friend of mine a couple years ago, and the resale price for these now is like $400, which is actually insane. Honestly though, I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. 
and I don't really see myself selling these anytime soon. Now that I've talked about all of my sneakers, let's get into my sandal collection. I feel like people are getting more comfortable wearing sandals outside in public ever since the lockdown, and I'm all for it. I honestly only have two sandals in my collection, and they're both the same pair, but just different colorways. The two sandals in my collection are the Yeast Lights in the resin colorway, and the Yeast Lights in the pure colorway. I bought these for around $140 each, I believe. If you don't already have these slides in your collection, I recommend you go get them right now. These are probably the most comfortable slides that I've ever worn in my entire 20 years of living. Not only is it very comfortable, but can be styled very easily as well. I have worn my Yeezy slides everywhere. To school, to the airport, to the grocery store, and even to the beach. There's really not much to say about these, they're just really nice slides to wear. The next category are my loafers slash oxfords. The first year in this category are my Doc Martin 1461 leather oxfords. These have been in my collection for quite some time now. These are actually the first shoes that I have ever bought from Doc Martin. I haven't worn them for a while, mainly because I tend to wear them towards the colder seasons. So you'll see me wearing these more in the coming months. I think these are going for around $140. Staying on Doc Martens, here are my Doc Martin 3989s. Same thing with my 1461s. I haven't been wearing these mainly because I tend to wear them during the winter season. I really like these shoes because they give my outfit more character. The only thing that I don't really like about the shoe is that the back heel of the shoe is pretty hard. So if I'm walking in them for a long time, it starts to irritate the back of my heel. Maybe it's just because I haven't broken them in, but maybe if I keep wearing them more often, it'll start to feel better. Other than that, I really enjoy wearing these. I believe these go for around $150. The last Doc Martens shoe in this category are my Doc Martin Adrian Loafers. This shoe is probably my most worn shoe in my entire collection. You can honestly legit wear these with almost anything. Shorts, dress pants, jeans, cargos, etc. I love how soft the leather is on this shoe and how comfortable the shoe is when walking around for a long period of time. If I can only keep one pair of shoes in my entire collection, it will have to be these. These go for around $140. I bought these shoes in early 2021 and I have worn them almost everywhere. I even worn them to the beach. I'm actually surprised it's still in pretty good condition. The last shoe in this category are my Toga Viralis Oxford. These shoes are actually my most recent pickups. I bought these a couple weeks ago from Essence during their summer sale for around $265. I believe the original price for these shoes were around $530, so I actually got these for a really good deal. I actually really don't have much to say about these shoes since these are fairly new. I just like the detailing of this shoe, the stitching on the top, and the piece of metal on the back heel. And yeah, these are pretty nice shoes I'll wear more often in the future. Now for the last category my boots. Up first are my Bottega Veneta Puddle Boots. These are probably hands down my most worn shoes besides my loafers. You can tell I wear them a lot by how scuffed and beat up they look. These are also the most expensive shoes in my collection. I bought these for $650, but due to inflation, I think they're going for around $720 now the last time I checked. I was gonna buy another pair of these, but in black. But now that the price has increased, I might just wait for it to go on sale or something. I really like the silhouette of the shoe and how easy they are to pair my outfits. Are they worth $650? For me personally, yes, because of how often I wear these. Another plus is that these shoes are very durable, which is pretty surprising. Up next, we have my Doc Martin 1460 lace-up boots. I have bought these last year for around $107. I have only worn them a couple of times. I don't really gravitate towards these as much because I prefer wearing my Chelsea boots instead because of how comfortable they are. I don't really find these shoes comfortable. Maybe it's because I haven't broken them in yet or because the material is very thick. I don't know, but yeah, they just sit on my shelf. The next boots in my collection are my Abilene Cowboy Boots. I actually picked up this pair on Amazon for around $120. Now, I actually really like these boots. The silhouette, the design, the material, the heel, everything about these boots are perfect in my opinion. I also like wearing these because of how easy they are to put on. They have these zippers on the sides that you can use to slip on and off very easily, unlike my other pair of boots. So when I need something to wear, I typically just grab these. Up next are my Steve Madden Dex boots. I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen me wear these, either on my TikTok videos or Instagram photos. I think these are probably my most versatile boots that I currently own. The design is very simple, it's just a classic leather Chelsea boot, but they can be worn with a ton of different outfits. I bought these last year for around $160 on the Steve Madden website. There's really not much to say about these boots other than that they're fairly comfortable to wear. The second to last shoe in my collection are my Mango Man Chelsea boots. I bought these shoes because I wanted a pair of boots that can be dressed very casually. I like how instead of having a heel on the back, it just has a flat sole which makes it more comfortable to walk in. These are probably like my beater boots that I wear when it rains or when I know my shoes are going to get dirty. I bought these for around $140 last year. And yeah, it's just a simple boot that I wear occasionally. And finally, the last pair of boots in my collection are my Alexander McQueen Chelsea boots. 
shoes. These shoes are probably my most favorite shoes out of my entire collection. Mainly because these are my first design shoes I've ever bought. I actually bought this on sale at Neiman Marcus for around $290. I don't remember what the original price was, but I do remember it was more than 50% off, which was a steal. I just like how there are two components to the shoe. The bottom has a smooth, hard material, and the top is this very soft material. I don't really wear these out too often, mainly because I'm too scared to get them dirty and beat. And yeah, these are probably my most favorite shoes in my entire collection. And now is the moment that we have all been waiting for. Let's finally add it all up and see the total amount of money I've spent on my shoes. And when adding it all up, the total is... $3,783. Wow, that's actually pretty insane. And remember, you don't need to own a ton of shoes to dress nice. When I started my TikTok, I only had like 5 pairs of shoes. So my advice is to buy shoes that you truly appreciate and enjoy. And don't buy shoes just to impress others. And there you have it, my entire shoe collection as of 2022. I will try to link all the shoes that are still available to buy down in the description below, so do go check that out. And if you could, please like, comment, and subscribe so I can get this video out to more people. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day, keep dressing nice, and I'll see you next time. Peace.